But we begin first with Fox 5's Deidre Dukes, live near Gwinnett Place Mall, where a man was shot to death in a busy shopping center parking lot this afternoon, Deidre. Yeah, Christine, we're joining you live from the Mall Corner Shopping Center off a of busy Pleasant Hill Road where shots rang out here in this uh, shopping center parking lot just before one this afternoon. I'm going to step away here so just you can get a look at the scene where this all uh, went down. A uh, man was shot and killed after someone opened a fire on his vehicle there in the parking lot by the Red Lobster. Police did apprehend that suspect right now. They're trying to determine what sparked the deadly violence. Said pow, 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 and that's when we started seeing the police is come. Witnesses described a terrifying scene. I've never seen nothing like this happen. The bullet riddled truck roped off by yellow police tape. The driver of the vehicle killed by another motorist in the parking lot of this busy shopping center Wednesday afternoon. I don't know what goes through people's minds to think that this is okay at all. Gwinnett police responded to the shooting along the 2100 block of Pleasant Hill Road near Gwinnett Place Mall just before one and discovered the victim deceased still inside the vehicle where it came to rest after he was shot. As officers were responding, they got a possible suspect description of um, what the suspect was driving as uh, he or she was fleeing the area. Our officers were able to track down that person of interest and they have sub subsequently placed that person in custody. Bystanders tell Fox 5 a woman and child were in the victim's vehicle at the time of the shooting. The lady jumped out. She went to that record right there and she told the man, she said, I need help. Said he's, he's dead. He's dead. And then the record called it, and he the one who called the police. Early in the investigation, police can't say what sparked the deadly violence. It's just really sad. I'm praying for whoever's involved in the families. Now, no one else was harmed in the shooting. Police telling us that that suspect was apprehended somewhere in DeKalb County. As for the names of the suspect and the victim, police not releasing their identities right now. That's latest here in Duluth. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Deidre, thanks for the latest from there. The